Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will draw a wizard with ink. We begin by getting the paper wet. I'm using a watercolor paper pad where the paper is already stretched. If you are using a loose sheet, you can tape it all around to a board so that it doesn't wrinkle so much. Then I add diluted Indian ink and apply it with an oriental brush. The Indian ink, as you know, is totally black, but here I diluted it with water so as to make it much lighter. I am leaving a blank area close to the lower end and toward the middle. That will be an area of light so we respect the white of the paper. Next, we add a much more intense ink to the sides and top. And we can lift the pad to direct a little bit the flow. But if it has too much, we can pick up some with the tissue paper. And let's add some more also to the side and to the upper part. It's pretty dramatic. <laughs> we pick up the excess and fill in as needed. Very good. We add what will be some land and water. And then, since the diluted ink dries lighter, let's add some direct pure black ink. But only to the sides and to the top so that we create the illusion of depth, of distance. We obviously don't do it all even and flat, but create a texture like foliage. Good! And now, with this beautiful Monte Grappa Aviator Fountain Pen, let's draw the figure, the magician or wizard. And we begin from the head. He's going to be with the strong backlight, so we do it all flat, black. The list of materials that I am using is in the description below the video. We can do sort of a reflection on the water right under him, his swords, and then his magic staff or his long stick. I dip the tip of the pen in water hoping that it will draw lighter for a moment. Good. Because the pole is right in front of the light. And then we just do some detail around, some more branches and foliage. Very good. Excelente. And it's ready. If you got all the way to this point, please write me the secret code Magic Wizard, so I know. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe to Fine Art Tips if you haven't done so already, and I will see you with more art on Tuesday.